Good morning, folks. Lots to discuss today, so let's get to it. Before we detail an uptick on our star, let's stick around at Earth and dissect the solar wind phi angle shift in blue, followed by the high speed and plasma temperature readings in yellow and green. It's a combined coronal stream and CME shock wave. A level 3 geomagnetic storm began right after we posted yesterday's news video, and as with the last three times we've hit level 3 or higher, there is potential Earth effects. San Diego, SDG and E was forced to cut power to tens of thousands of people yesterday due to a shed load order. The officials blame high temperatures and air conditioner use for the need to lessen the load, but the problem is that these power plants are specifically built for peak usage in hot afternoons, and while it was a record hot mid-September day, it doesn't compare to normal summer heat in SoCal. The fact is that the ionospheric and atmospheric dangers ran highest, tracing from Hawaii to the U.S. East Coast and right over California during the middle portion of the day. The extra solar energy may have very well contributed to the need to shed load. But of course, that's not all. Another CME is already en route, and we have increasing solar flare activity with the alpha of the group creating a significant radio blackout for a few hours and emanating from the southwestern limb of the departing sunspots. The CME is incredibly fast, and Cactus claims it is full halo, but any Earth-directed portion is likely to be small. NASA's end will suggest it will miss Earth completely. However, we could encounter solar wind turbulence, and besides, these surging protons are currently my bigger concern. Let's quickly come to the sunspots and see the flare makers departing bottom right with a new group having crested overnight, and I can see delta-class magnetism in the back of it already. I've made the coronal holes extra dark and added a bit of shimmer to make those dark patches stand out as they begin to face Earth today with a minor quake watch. All it's done so far is kick back up the aftershocks in Chile again after having taken a day off. We've got the ocean temperature overlay to the Earth wind map so we can eye extremely hot waters in the Gulf of California. These will feed that low pressure cell right on Baja as it is a strong tropical candidate and slated to shift due north bringing terrible rainfall to the US Southwest. Most models have it tracking right over Phoenix. Look for purple on the pressure overlay and then keep an eye out for more purple to notice the precipitation following the pressure convergences into the lows. Down under we're getting reports of major flooding in New Zealand off that storm system and we could see the same in eastern Australia tonight as well. Scroll down, find the links and resources we provide below these videos every day. If you can't find a fun rabbit hole here, you may not have a pulse. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.